Welcome back. Now, after an arrest and being taken for a psych evaluation with the last few weeks, we're sad that the news is not getting much better for this celebrity. Crystal Pino from 1063 The Groove has our update, and I'm so sad that this is continuing. Yeah, if you remember the last time we chatted about her, she was getting out of the psych ward, and we're hearing now that the original call for Heather Locklear was for intoxication and a disturbance. Well, when the officers showed up along with the ambulance, she en actually ended up being arrested for battery on a police officer because she punched an officer and then she kicked someone who was involved with the EMT. Now, I don't know if it was an actual paramedic or somebody that was trying to just assist, but uh, she's not doing well. This whole altercation started because of a disturbance with alcohol and her parents yet again were the ones that had to call 911 because they couldn't calm her down. Yeah, let's start over. This is all happening yesterday. Yes. So yeah, let's let's get the time frame. So she was arrested a couple of weeks ago. Uh, last week was the psych evaluation. Now everything you just said just happened yesterday. And the reason I have to clarify that is because I feel like these stories are almost like it's not the same I, story, I, right? It's almost <laughs> identical, yeah. uh, but it is. It's it's a I would say maybe three or four weeks. I feel like every week we're getting another, you know, a, a mug shot or or whatever the case may be, but it does seem to be that alcohol is the common denominator. The more that I hear that her parents are involved, I feel like her parents are trying to intervene. Yeah. And that she's obviously resisting their help, and that's where it leads to this huge disturbance where the cops are called, and they're probably trying to, hey, please stop drinking. Yeah. Because that's where it starts for her is the alcohol. Yeah, so I I know she's being held on, what, $20,000 bail right yeah. now? $20,000 bail. These are pretty serious charges, though. Yeah. I mean, you hit a police officer and someone involved with the paramedics. Yeah, so I'm hoping the next time we, we do a story about Heather Locklear, it's, it's going to be more of a, an upswing okay. that she's getting some help. Uh, but we've got some other stories, some good news. Yeah. And let me start out by saying... You're obviously slacking. Yes, clearly I am, because the lucky number in Hollywood when it comes to children is five. I have three. I don't think I want to add two more to that, though. <laughs> Just saying. So Brigitte Nielsen, who we all know, or there you can see, she's beautiful from Rocky. She was also on Flavor of Love. Uh, she welcomed her fifth child, a baby girl, and she's surrounded by brothers. So four brothers and one sister. She decided to name her Frida. She came in at five pounds and nine ounces, so a tiny little thing. She's 54, um, yeah, she's 54 years 54 old. 54 years old, and uh, baby and mom are, are apparently doing well. She's a beautiful little girl, so congratulations. But she's not the only celebrity doing five kids. Yeah, so we all know this couple. We love them. They come into our houses very often. I'm talking about Chip and Joanna Gaines. They welcomed their fifth child. I love this tweet from Chip. Uh, a big baby adding to the crew, and that's also what we're going to name him. They have named their new son Crew. Ten beautiful toes, ten beautiful fingers. Crew, pick up a hand. Or you're next. Yeah. You're next on the assembly line, my friend. Well, I love his tweet, and we both have said before, your husband and my husband love Chip. Yeah, he's uh, very relatable. Show. Very relatable, uh, and we know their show is is going away, so uh, they've got a lot. I will say Joanna's a lot more patient with him than I am with my husband, so I can I can learn, because when he starts acting crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. She, she, no, wait, let's start over. She's patient with him because there's a camera there. Right. <laughs> Who knows If you put a camera on you and your husband every day, you'd be like, mm-hmm. He's fine. Yeah, that's great. That's funny, honey. <laughs> Um, but we had baby news. Let's do some wedding news. Yeah, so we have a Game of Thrones wedding, which I absolutely love. This Jon Snow, he married one of the wildlings. Ygritte is her name on the show. They were actually a love interest on the show as well. And uh, this happened at her family's 12th century castle in Scotland. Yes, you heard that right. Her family has a 12th century castle. Uh, it was a star-studded event. Lots of people coming out from the show. We had Amelia Clark, Peter Dinklage, we had Sophie Turner, Macy Williams. So many people involved with the show showed up and sort of stole it a little bit, especially uh, Sophie Turner and Macy Williams. They coordinated outfits, <laughs> really tried to stand out, but it was a beautiful wedding. The, the pictures are fantastic, so sorry ladies, Jon Snow is off the market. Kit Harington and Rose Leslie officially married. Well, Game of Thrones fans are probably like wigging out uh, right now. Uh, you are wigging out about this next piece of information. So we are hearing, yes, Adele, new music in the works. I thought this was just a rumor, but we are getting so much confirmation that she has actually started writing, has some songs banked already, and we will be getting this album. What we're hearing is Christmas of next year. Now I'm wondering, is a tour coming along? Because she said her last tour, yeah. I'm done. So new music, new album, does that mean a new tour? You know what I say? Never say never. I know. Yeah, never know. But what will happen for sure is that you can get more celebrity gossip with us. Listen weekdays at 7.40 a.m. on 106.3 The Groove or stream online at 106.3thegroove.com and stay connected any time of the day with Crystal. 
She's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those good things.